Most individuals may be unaware that only a small percentage of pharmaceuticals that start out in development ever reach the end of trials, and not all of those are approved. Nevertheless, drug corporations consider the slim chances of success to be worthwhile. The amount of money that one of these approved treatments may generate in a few years is something that many people might not fully comprehend. A supposedly blockbuster medication may be worth at least $1 billion. Here are the 10 most sold drugs. Number 10. Nexium. There is a reason the name may be recognizable. For gastric issues including acid reflux and even certain ulcers, Nexium is a well-liked therapy. Given the prevalence of these issues caused by contemporary stress levels and generally bad diets, it is not unexpected that AstraZeneca has had success with it since the release of Nexium in 2001. Number 9. Avastin. Avastin comes quite close to being an all-in-one cancer treatment, though no oncology medicine can claim to be. The monoclonal antibody therapy, produced by Roche subsidiary Genentech, has been approved to treat recurrent glioblastoma, a specific form of brain tumor, as well as colorectal, lung, kidney, cervical, and ovarian cancers. Avastin, or Bevacizumab as it is commonly known, essentially prevents the development of blood vessels that would otherwise nourish tumors or malignant cells. Number 8. Herceptin. Herceptin, a cancer treatment medication, has been available since 1999. It had a good run and is still going strong even though its patent protection is gradually eroding. The irony, Trastuzumab, widely known as Herceptin, may never have had a legitimate patent in the first place. Number 7. Enbrel. Enbrel, a medication used by Amgen to treat psoriasis and rheumatoid arthritis, has been on the market and generating significant sales since 1998 longer than most pharmaceutical companies even dare to imagine that a therapy could succeed. This is due to the lack of genuine competition in the market. Number 6. Rituximab. In the US, Rituxin is sometimes referred to as Mabthera. Whatever you choose to call it, you should be aware that Roche, with some assistance from Biogen, has produced another blockbuster that is currently the most potent drug in its lineup. Its staggering $5.7 billion in sales year to date translate into a total lifetime revenue of around $82 billion. Number 5. Plavix. The blood-thinning medication Plavix had the anticipated decline in sales after its U.S. patent expired in 2012. However, even in its generic version, it continues to provide a little amount of income for the product's creator Bristol-Myers Squibb and sales partner Sanofi. With sales of $1.30, Plavix has generated over $84 billion in total income since its approval in 1997. Number 4. Remicade. Remicade, a medication for rheumatoid arthritis, was Johnson & Johnson's best-selling product up until this year. Since competing brands of the medication, also known as Infliximab, from Pfizer, Samsung, and BioEpis have just recently started to eat away at J&J's business, generic competition that surfaced after a significant United States patent was invalidated last year has already had a negative impact on the company's top line. Number 3. Advair. Ceratide is the third best-selling prescription medication on the planet, although many people may have never even heard of it. However, if the medication's brand name, Advair, is given, they are probably already familiar with it. Chronic obstructive pulmonary disease and asthma therapy has generated at least $95.7 billion in revenue for the manufacturer GlaxoSmithKline since it was approved in 2001. Number 2. Humora. The versatile medication Humora from Abvi might lessen the unneeded inflammation brought on by a common inflammatory trigger. Humora use may impair a patient's capacity to fight off infections because, in part, that reaction is the body's method of managing some illnesses. However, the benefits frequently outweigh the drawbacks, which is why the therapy has generated an estimated $109 billion in sales when taking into account its $13.5 billion in income so far this year. Number 1. Lipitor. Last, but not least, the cholesterol-fighting medication Lipitor has brought in a staggering $150.1 billion in revenue for Pfizer. The amount represents a secure sales record. In 1997, the medication was finally given the go-ahead after nearly being rejected. 
Early in the 1990s, other statins, the family of cholesterol medications that include Lipitor and its competitors, were already available and well tolerated by healthcare providers. What do you think of our video? Let me know in the comments section below. If you enjoyed this video and want to hear from me again, be sure to hit that subscribe button before you go. Thanks for watching.